great pleasure to be here and back to Mexico after uh, our, my last visit where we had this workshop going on in September and we had all those great minds from those 17 countries being present, not only experts in the field of computation, artificial intelligence, automation, material science, but also people who share that kind of passion and potential that uh, development of advanced materials could potentially have on our respective countries in the world. And just to put it in perspective, and uh, we'll hear from people who are more expert than I am about this in, in a very short moment, but we have, in the case of advanced materials, a very key component in making sure that we are able to develop uh, uh, advanced clean energy systems, which account for about a half the cost, uh, the materials element alone. So being able to accelerate the pace of innovation in that space is really, really important. Uh, esta por esta región que Canadá está encantada dado de unirse a México y los Estados Unidos como co líder del reto de innovación de materiales avanzados para energías limpias de la misión de innovación. Esta una ocasión única para nuestros tres países para avanzar en su compromiso común con la misión de innovación y con la colaboración norteamericana en materia de energía. Nuestros respectivos ministros y secretarios uh, se reunieron recientemente, recientemente a Houston para discutir uh, sectores de colaboración para los tres países. One of their central uh, plea to us was to keep those initiatives concrete and real, to strive to have genuine impact. And I really feel that this particular initiative has a shot at achieving very much that. Needless to say that uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning in this particular case has the potential to transform our societies. And in this particular case, it's very much true as we're able to accelerate greatly the pace of advancement and uh, the development of advanced materials. And it doesn't limit itself in the impact in the energy space. We also have a chance of using those discoveries in other fields, transportation, infrastructures, along with many others. So Canada is delighted to be able to join in as a co-lead for this initiative with a great lead already exercised by the government of Mexico and the United States on that front. And we are pleased also to signal that we'll be uh, hosting uh, events this spring. Uh, two events are scheduled for the month of March and the month of May in Hamilton and Toronto, where we'll be able to further explore the potential to advance uh, that very important work. And maybe just to close, to reiterate uh, the Government of Canada's commitment to carry on that march toward a lower carbon economy. We see this as a great concrete step to do so, and do so with our friends from North America and the world. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you.